Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing something that I haven't done in a while, and that is hair extensions. I haven't worn traditional clip-in hair extensions in quite a while. I stopped wearing them because I don't think they're that healthy for my hair, but in turn, I really love using halos. So today I am teaming up with Sleek Hair to show you how to wear and style their flip and go halo. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, so Sleek Hair sent me a very generous box of a ton of their products. We have a microfiber hair wrap. It's got the Sleek embroidered right here. It's very, very soft. And yes, it is one of those towels that just catches your head. So you put this behind your head, twist it over, and then you use the little elastic to hook to the button so that it stays in place. I love how soft this is. I love the light pink color, and I love when they have the little buttons to keep it in place. These are great for when you're just getting ready, when you're doing your makeup, and you wanna expedite the hair drying process. Love of the microfiber towel. Next up, they sent some products, a repair therapy shampoo and conditioner, and a silk repair therapy deep conditioning hair mask. Then we have the flip and go hair piece. Now this is a halo extension. It's packaged nicely in this box, and then the hair is perfectly wrapped. There is additional clear string. I got the color number four medium brown, which usually matches pretty perfect with my color. I think this is going to be spot on. And this is an 18 to 20 inch extension. As you can tell, my hair's not that long right now, so I'm a little confused concerned it's going to be too long, but that's okay. We're going to try to style it so that it seamlessly blends. And then last but not least, we have their professional straightener. So I am going to be using this today to style the extensions. It's a beautiful black and rose gold straightener. Looks like it's about a one inch and we're gonna see how it works. Oh, at the bottom, I forgot this product. This is a hair serum. It is paraben and sulfate free. It says to apply a small amount through damp hair before heat styling or run through dry hair for a glossy finish. My hair is already dry, so we're gonna use this at the end to give it a little more shine. So that is everything that's in this box. Let's put this hair in. So first things first, if you're not familiar with Halo hair extensions, it's basically one long track of extensions on a clear, almost fish wire string. And you wear it like a headband. It's meant to blend into your hair naturally. There's no clips involved, no tape involved, no glue involved. It's really the most damage-free ideal option for every day. This is definitely pretty long. This is going to be really long on me, but this is 100% Remy human hair. It's so, so soft. It feels actually feels really amazing. I wish my actual hair felt this soft. Here is the extension. You can see that it has some pretty intense creases in it from being packaged. This is a lot of hair. I'm not sure what the gram weight on it is, but that's a good amount of hair for an extension. It's only tied at one end, which is nice. That means we can adjust it to fit our head perfectly. There's a tiny little slot here for you to tie it. I just slid the string right through here. I want it to sit a little higher on my head, so I'm gonna tie it pretty tight. It's gotta be big enough to get over your head, but you also want it to sit right. Let me see how this feels. Can I get that over? It's pretty tight, but I think we could do it. All right, I'm only gonna leave it one knot in case we have to adjust. In the back here, you can see there's a nice lace band. I'm just gonna tuck this string in for now. I'm gonna show you my favorite way to apply a halo. So it sits underneath the top layer of hair. So I'm going to separate my top layer of hair just off the bat because I find it easier to do this beforehand than it is to pull it out after the halo is in. Then we're gonna take our halo and I'm gonna put it right in front of that clip and set it right there. So just ignore the string. I'm gonna clip it later. I'll tuck it away. So yeah, you can see there's way more fake hair than there is natural hair on me right now. And then we're gonna take this down and cover that string. This takes just a little bit of finessing to get right. You won't even know that it's there. See how that blends pretty well? All right, so instantly I just have a ton more hair. I'm obsessed. The halo is sitting nicely in place, but it does feel a little loose to me. If you want to take a bobby pin just to help secure it, you can totally do that. I wouldn't recommend this extension for like rigorous activity, but for everyday wear, it should be fine. I'm gonna plug in the straightener. I am gonna set it to 350, use some heat protectant, and then I am going to section the top portion off again because that is going to be the last part that we style. This heats up incredibly quick. It is ready to go and normally when my extensions are a little longer than my natural hair I want to do some kind of I want to style them in a wave or curls so I'm gonna use the straightener today to create an easy light wave so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my natural hair and a little bit of the extension and I'm just gonna flip this and pull it through I'm taking kind of larger sections because I want them to be very natural looking. I don't want like little ringlet curls or anything. Flip and pull. I'm just going to do the bottom a little extra since it's so long. So we'll get a little extra curl down there. 
I just can't even imagine what it's like to have hair this long. All right, let's take the top down and start working our way around here. I'm just gonna lightly flip and curl that. I don't want too much going on. I have to say the color match is pretty perfect. We are all done and styled. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the hair at the crown, tease it just a little bit to give it a smidge of volume. I'm gonna open up the hair serum and apply just a little bit to the ends. Ooh, it's very, very thick. It smells pretty good. Okay, I think I used like way too much. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Ooh, I think it's actually making a big difference. It feels like a little sticky or tacky. I think that just helps keep the hair in place and tame any flyaways you may have. All right, let me step back so you can see the full effect. Again, these extensions are pretty long. I probably could have afforded to go a little shorter and I may take this halo to my hairdresser to properly cut it. I don't want to cut it myself. I've done that before and bad news. It says that these will last for six to nine months with proper care, but I'm sure you could make them last way longer than that. I love the halo because it's safe for everyday wear. It really doesn't tug at your hair or your scalp, so any additional hair fall or hair loss is non-existent when you're wearing one. These are also safe to dye or color, so even though they have over 35 different colors available on their website, if you want it to match just perfectly, you can take it to your hairdresser or do it yourself and dye it to the exact color of your hair. Overall, I love the results of these extensions. I'll show you the back so you can see how it blends. You really can't see the extensions back here. The hair sits right here. The only complaint I have, and I have to be completely honest, is that it does feel a little loose on my head. Now if I'm just going to work, if I'm going to be sitting at my computer, if I'm meeting a friend for lunch or dinner, these will sit just fine. They're not going to move. However, if I may be moving around a little more, if I'm wearing it to a wedding or an event, I would recommend either sewing in your own clips or using a bobby pin just to secure it in place. It's definitely not going to hurt. It's not going to ruin the extensions, it's not going to ruin your hair, and it's going to give you a little more peace of mind that this piece will not be going anywhere. I think that these are brilliant. If you're concerned about the string showing, play around with your part. Do like a little zigzag part or a side part and you'll you'll never know it's there. That is it for this video. Thank you so much to Sleek for sponsoring it. Everything that I talked about and used will be linked below. I also am gonna link this dress. It's a really cute sweater dress from Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and leave me a comment below letting me know if you wear any type of hair extension and if you've ever tried a halo. Thank you again for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.